Hi, welcome to this episode of Max Makes Music. So, you'd like to sample some stuff into your Koala Sampler app? Do you need all of these cables? No, I'm going to show you a little trick I've learnt. So, stay with me and I'll show you how it works. Hi everyone. So I've recently been learning how to use this fantastic app on my phone called Koala Sampler. It's really a great um, app for sampling pretty much anything you like and then using it to make some beats. The thing is though, while it's great for sampling through the inbuilt microphone, for instance, you can see the meter going here as I'm speaking. I, what I wanted to do was actually to grab some samples from another little musical instrument I have, which is this, the VL1, the Casio, which I got recently because I remembered using it way back in primary school and I actually found online there was quite a few people who use this to make some fantastic um, uh, pieces as well. So I wanted to try and grab a few samples of it. So. I thought this was going to be an easy task because there's a output it's only mono but there's a mono um, three and a half mil jack here and i thought well easy enough i'll just pop that into the uh, input jack of my phone which should take uh, at least a mono signal in so i thought excellent i just grab one of these so this i thought would allow me to connect both headphones and if you can see that a, mo a mono mic into my phone just like I do when I'm using a hands-free handset so I thought that was going to be the arrangement simply plug my VL tone in so what I then needed to do was get hold of one of these which is um, 3.5 mono as you can see it's mono because there's only it's, it's just basically a tip TS tip and sleeve so it's not TRS it's just uh, TS tip and sleeve for a mono signal so I thought easy enough we plug that in to there I plug that into oops into the mic jack and away we'd go sadly that did not work at all so I can show you that by like turning on the VL one and I'll try to try and play some tunes and as you can see from that VU meter nothing was happening in fact it's still just capturing with its with the phone's internal mic so that was just like a complete no-go so then I tried to come up with all sorts of other ideas I tried getting a mono cable connected a mono cable connected to an RCA cable which I then tried to connect via a splitter to this I then tried to use a stereo cable. I tried to use a stereo cable with one of these like splitters going the other way to try and split out one like one like from the stereo just one of the monos and then put it into here and yeah all these cables complete disaster. So I was almost ready to give up but then I remembered the phone has of course a USB port right here USB-C so what we I thought what we could try and do was instead get rid of all of these oh, get rid of all of those 
and instead get one of these. Yep, just this plain old simple US, very basic USB sound card. And of course, in order to be able to plug that into the USB-C port, we also need one of these, um, a USB-C to USB-A port. So let's give that a go and see how that works. So let's open one of these and I'll have a link to this. It's very, very basic card. It's not much to it. It's one of the cheapest USB sound cards you can get on line. This one came from Amazon. You just plug that into there. Then we'll just take, actually, we will need some of those cables that we previously had. In fact, we'll just grab our stereo, one of this plain old three for a half mil stereo plug, plug that in to now it's a bit hard to see, but there is green and ready kind of orange as the two things. So that's ready. The reddish one is the mic, plug that into Casio, plug this into the phone. And let's just pop them side by side so you can see both of them in a nice arrangement. Watch the VU meter, give it a bit of volume. Let's pop that on to say fantasy where it'll hold the note. And there you go. You can see me pressing and there's the view meter going nicely. Decays off because fantasy tone is. And we can even do monitoring. And hopefully we can, I don't know sure if this will work through the headphone and the mic. Actually, I think I'll need to grab the audio out because it's going through the sound card. So bear with me for a second and I'll grab another connecting cable. Well, actually, I might do that later. I'll grab another connecting cable later. But what we can do here is you can pretty easily see that this is a nice solution to this. I can now just hold down one, sample a note, let go and in it goes. And if once I connect this up to the audio input on my computer, you'd be able to hear it playing back. So I thought I'd just share this hopefully useful hint for anyone who wants to do a similar sort of thing. Of course, you're not limited to it just recording a mono signal. This is in fact a stereo cable. So here, what's actually happening is this little sound card I noticed actually essentially doubles up the signal and records both left and right, even for the mono signal. But of course you could plug in any stereo source and do the same thing here. And that is of course, even if you, if I could get the jack working on um, the phone, that would only give us a mono uh, input, just like yeah, you have when you're speaking on the phone with someone through a headset, you only got a mono, signal from your uh, headset's mic. That's the limiting factor when using the input sock jack, or the audio input jack of the phone. But with just the simple cheap USB card, we can actually capture stereo into the phone and hence into Koala Sampler. And the really nice thing is, is that I didn't have to configure anything. Koala Sampler just immediately started using this sound card as the default input and actually the default output. Well, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and check back soon to my channel for more helpful videos about audio as music making as well as making things in general. Thank you. And yeah, subscribe if you like this video. Thanks. Bye.